Hello, my name is Will Swenson, and I'm an actor. I am currently in the Broadway smash hit Waitress, and I'm playing the abusive husband, Earl. Let's play some Roll Call. It's gotta be Stacy. The reason that Stacy Jacks made me feel like a badass is I got to cover my body in tattoos. I got to wear these crazy David Lee Roth wigs and wear like leather chaps and go out and basically do anything that I wanted to on stage. In fact, my wife encouraged me not to take the tattoos off when I came home because she enjoyed them. Funny, funny fact. There it is. The role that changed my life, I would have to say, is Burger in Hair because it was the first, uh, like, just big lead role that I got on Broadway. It was the time when I started dating my current wife, and uh, so it was just a big, wonderful, hippie-infested crossroads that uh, turned into many beautiful things. All right, this is an uncomfortable question. This was me merely reflecting the sexy off of Karen Olivo and Casey Levy in our two incarnations of this show. Basically just made out with girls all night and got paid for it. Be an actor. The role that my family loves the most has got to be Les Mis. When I was like 12, my parents went to London on vacation and they came home with the Les Mis soundtrack. My dad put the CD into a CD player in the car. It was the Astro Van, actually. He never took it out, and he listened to it for the next 30 years until I got the part, and he came to opening night, and he came into my dressing room, and we all cried, and it was amazing. The reason that I have chosen this one is A, the name of my character eventually was changed to the artist formerly known as Prince, formerly known as Prince. I still don't get that joke. The other reason that I am least like Tim slash cop is that it was a show set in a dystopian future about people piecing the past together in fragments of what the history of rock and roll might have been, and that just doesn't, doesn't seem like me. role that kicked my ass was definitely Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. There's not hardly a single backstage memory because once the show started, we basically didn't leave the deck of the stage. We just, we just got on stage and then changed our costumes incessantly. My memory of this show is changing my clothes. I had 21 costume changes. I was absurdly high because I was in heels and platforms and headdresses. I think my final costume, I was over nine feet tall. It was a ball, but uh, we were all very skinny because we were just dancing and changing costumes all night, so it kicked my ass. The role that brought out my dark side uh, has definitely got to be Earl. He is a misunderstood guy. I've heard a quote that said, there are no villains, everybody's got their reasons. Um, so that's, that's kind of my take on Earl, just like a guy that kind of thought he was going to be on top of the world and then everything just went wrong. It is a lot of fun slash challenging to uh, try to channel the, the inner demons uh, of oneself to, to try to, to make a character both, uh, you know, uh, a villain of sorts, but also somebody you can, you can empathize with. So uh, Earl's definitely been, been the, the dark side of me. So that was it, man. That was, uh, that was a bizarre version of This Is Your Life, except that I was my own host. It felt very narcissistic, uh, but I'm just fine with talking about myself. <laughs> I'm sorry that I didn't get to some of these real winners. Um, for example, I don't know if you, anyone caught my fantastic work as the purse snatcher in All My Children. Um, it was some of my my best uh, seconds of work. Please come see me in, uh, in the Waitress skit on Broadway at the Brooks Atkinson Theater, eight shows a week, where I play Earl, the uh, semi-abusive uh, husband to Sarah Bareilles. That's all I got. Goodbye. <laughs>